Dan, give us your thoughts on the Rip Van Winkle, Rude Van Slats cult. Uh, look, this was a cult that I'd seen uh, on a trip to New Zealand uh, before the sale, seen him in December, uh, and he really took my eye then. Look, um, knowing Brent Taylor at Trelawney, this is one of the mares that they've got a really high hopes for, that she's going to be a great producer for them. Very good race mare herself. Uh, her first foal's already a winner, and this particular cult was one that Brent uh, had uh, really earmarked from the time he was a foal. I had a good look at him there in December, loved him, came back in January and again he'd progressed. Um, really, really nice type of horse by a stallion that uh, had a great line of horses. You know, he was a, a champion miler uh, and he looks to have thrown some super stock. Um, and I would suspect that this, this colt was as good as any of them. You know, he's out of a very good race mare and just a hell of a nice type of horse. And uh, I know that um, Trelawney thought that that they might get a lot more money for him, uh, so we were we were really happy that uh, he was able to fall into our price range, and um, we've now got him. And uh, looking forward to seeing what he can do. When are you expecting this horse to be ready to go? Uh, again, look, he'd be a horse that's not going to be waiting on forever. You know, his his mother was was up and about reasonably early, um, and he looks a, a, a pretty forward sort of style of horse now. So. Uh, we'd be hoping that we can do something with him as a two-year-old and you know, we'd be expecting him to be up and about in the spring as a three-year-old.